Oh, it's Smiley. What's up? I'm so hey, used to. to I'm so now? used to. I'm so used to talking to Bibble, man. I don't. Uh, you know, we have a really um, laid back atmosphere around here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. I like a laid back atmosphere. Um, well, yeah, I'm you know, sorry for, uh, for hey, what were you saying? Nothing. I mean, you said you like oh, to lay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I had to get that. Um, but um, now I want you. First off, to tell us who you are, how you got here. Um, give us a little bit of your uh, of your background, and um, and just tell us your story for uninterrupted 10, 15 minutes. Oh wow! Okay, yeah, that's uh, that's quite a time slot. Well, well, anyways, I mean, uh, if you, if you don't, if you don't, if you feel like that's too much time. You know, just just as much time as you want because I don't want to be accused of, you know, um, cutting you off or whatever or anything like that. Um, so just just go ahead and, and speak as much as you want. Okay, yeah, I appreciate that. Well, uh, I think it's a good idea to give a little bit of an introduction. Yeah, thanks for reminding me to do that. Uh, it seems like, for the most part, people pretty much know who I am. They've seen me around uh, once or twice, maybe in passing in the Super Chats or something on Nick's show. But um, anyways... I've been involved in America Wait, I didn't for see you in the Super Jazz on the, on the kill stream. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Uh, maybe that'll change maybe one of these that'll days. Change. We'll, maybe. We'll see. Uh, I hope so. I hope so. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. All right. Well, uh, anyways, what I was saying is I've, I've been around for a while. Um, I uh, wasn't really that well known until like uh, White Boy Summer, but I was at a lot of the Stop the Steals. And uh, I actually first met Nick at a Turning Point event in like uh, 2019. And uh, I've just, you know, been uh, as involved as I can be uh, with the movement and everything since then. People sort of know me from uh, going around the world, around the country, and uh, doing some IRL memeing, you know, doing a little trolling, um, you know, just being generally based as hell. But recently, um, unfortunately, I've had to drop some kind of uh, heavy stuff on people. It's really killing the vibes, and I, I'm sorry about that. I'm really hoping that uh, we can all move past this soon. I know it's, it's getting old and uh, it's like, it's an uncomfortable topic and everything. And uh, like, I didn't mean to drag everyone into it is kind of what I'm saying. So I, I do apologize to everyone about that. And especially for, um, you know, dragging America first and Nick into it, because it's like Nick said, I mean, really, this is something that happened long before uh, America first was even a thing before I knew who Nick was probably before uh, any of us really knew who Nick was. And uh, now it's being used, unfortunately, as a vector of attack against him, which I could not have uh, I could not oh. have foreseen. And uh, I've how did you meet Ali Alexander? How did I? Well, actually, that's a, that's a great question. I never met Ali in person. Um, I, I had some online correspondence with him uh, way back when, and it, it fizzled out uh, pretty quickly. I mean, over like maybe. Uh, the course of, of a year, and then now, when after you that, say it's a very, very sparse contact. That's a very lawyerly term. I'm not trying to grill you too hard. <laughs> online correspondence. Uh, I mean, what do you mean by online correspondence? Um, yeah. I think I know what you mean, but 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 what do you, what do you mean by that? Okay, no, that's a fair question. I something I do need to get out of the way and establish here is that I. I, uh, I really don't that, want Rare sent three dollars. This guy likes tweets calling you a rapist and other slander. Well, he, slash, he did et call me a sex offender, which was incorrect, and I'm, I let that go uh, at the top of the show. I, I didn't even get into that. That was incorrect. But um, yeah, no, we're here I, to talk I about. Wanna, I don't want to repeat. Yeah, anything yeah, I was like gonna that, say uh, no. Yeah, yeah, no, sake, you know? yeah, yeah, no. Well, it's not for my sake. It's for your sake. Um, and we're here to talk about your case, uh, not anything to do with me. It's, it's for your sake. It's definitely not for my sake. Um, uh, but, um, well, go no, ahead but I and, think, I think that does need to be addressed. I mean, I, t I tweeted that out and uh, I was kind of heated up about some of the things I heard you, you know, saying about me and, uh, I should have just I waited until I you? cooled off until tweeting that out. You know, I mean, that was, it was a low blow, you know, it was, it was messed up for me to say that. And, uh, well, I don't so my you Yiannopoulos didn't today. tweet that out. What was that? Milo Yiannopoulos didn't tweet that out. Correct. And I, I see now, how okay, it definitely now, had like Milo's style. Yeah, because I, it sounds I, like I Milo tweeted think. that out. So Okay, so what did I say about yeah. you that had you so fired up? 
Well, uh, basically, I mean, just some of the same stuff uh, that uh, has been on your Telegram today, kind of in the same vein, which, I mean, I don't hold that stuff against you. And well, and again, well now, wait a minute. For what now, I wait. About you earlier, you know? Now, wait. What I will that? say you're right. I have said some fucked up things on the Telegram today. Right. There, there's right. no and doubt. You know there's no doubt. But, but, if you can but, forgive me for what I tweeted. Yes, you know? and I can forgive you, and we can forgive each other. But I just want to say, I didn't just tweet those things. I woke up and, like, they're like, Smiley's attacking you. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, and right, saying he's yeah. not going to do the interview. Um, so I don't blame you for that. You and, know, and I was I do a little make upset. It clear. Yeah, go ahead. I do want to make it clear. I'm not really here for like an interview about things that happened in, in the past or whatever. I mean, I've pretty much said everything I need to say on the matter. And uh, frankly, I think people are probably sick of hearing that. I'm really here to uh, clarify my position on, on America first and all the e-drama um, that's resulted as kind of a byproduct. And uh, we can we can talk. To, I'm more here to talk about uh, the present. I mean, we can we can get into some of that if you want to. But it's, it's really about the way that um, America first is under attack right now. And uh, I, I'm here to uh, uh, clarify well, my I position mean, on that. You know, of course, uh, you know, I'm into the e drama. Um, but but right. I, but, but uh, how do you think you got sucked up into that, so to speak? OK, yeah, that, that's a fair question. So. A while ago, you know, like probably uh, over six years ago, whenever Milo rose to prominence, um, I was basically I was basically like a, you know, a very early Milo Yiannopoulos uh, supporter. And uh, I believed in him for, you know, quite a while. I mean, he was like the the first big uh, political influencer that I paid attention to well before even Nick Fuentes. Um, so I, I already kind of had that background with him, but what people need to understand is I stopped following Milo very closely or really at all for years. I mean, ever since I've really been involved in America first, I haven't followed Milo that closely. I talked to him maybe three times, um, since, uh, he was at AFPAC. Um, and between now, I mean, we really have not had that much correspondence. People uh, are, you know, claiming that I'm like part of his network and that I know you claimed that he was running my social media, which that, that did, did sound like something I he did, would tweet. I'll give you back. I did, <laughs> I did say that. By the way, I'm trying to turn my camera on. Like people think I'm trying to like hide from the camera. Honestly, I've been having camera issues the last fucking month and so no i'm not trying to hide from the camera i'm trying to fix the camera like you can't see me right now but i'm walking all around in my room trying to fix the camera why the fuck would i not want the camera on jesus uh, anyway um um i did say that i did say that uh, well it just sounded because there were uh, well, just Big gonna... Tech is a homo sent three dollars. Ralph, don't let the haters get to you. Xanax is a harmless no, drug impossible to here. overdose. You should take some right now because pussies like me, Tucker, are laughing <laughs> like little homos and they need to be put in their place. Long yeah, live the kill stream. You're right. Xanax is unoverdosable, though. You're pretty much right about that. But, um, I. By the um, way. By the way, I didn't pull out of the interview uh, because of Milo. I mean, of course, Milo made it very clear on his. No, podcast. you're still talking to, to Milo on. Yiannopoulos, though. What was that? Are you still talking to Milo Yiannopoulos? I wasn't talking to him until I and I explained this to Nick as well. I did uh, break my silence with him to um, discuss the uh, the Groiper doxing thing that was on his Telegram. That was very concerning, and uh, you know, I, I was worried about that. He was saying that. Um, he was basically implying that he would dox Groipers who uh, made fun of me or like, you know, took low yeah, blows or whatever. Yeah. Which, that was that was ridiculous. You know, I felt like I had to say something about that. And yes, I'm, I'm going to be honest with everyone. I did talk to him about that. And I also I went into a little bit about uh, why he has to make this whole thing about Nick Fuentes. I also uh, I confronted him over that, too, because um, really this has nothing to do with Nick. And I think uh, everyone has pretty much made that clear at this point. Um, and, and Milo said that. Uh, he's open to uh, a discussion on that or reconsidering. But, I mean, really, I, I think it's pointless to reason with him because, uh, I mean, it's clear that he just uh, hates Nick Fuentes and wants America first to burn at all costs, which is it's a really sad state of affairs that that's true. So uh, I, I've blocked Milo as of today. I think that's the healthiest thing uh, for everyone. And I don't want to get into any more unnecessary drama um, for the movement or for you or for myself, um, if that makes sense. Well, you know what? That does make sense. And I'm not going to Milo use you, buddy. That's what my wife said in the chat. Uh, you know, I think that that's true. Um, 
But well, uh, here's the reason. Even on uh, Dalton's show, or no, it wasn't Dalton. Uh, it was it was Beardson's. Yeah, it was on the Weekly Sweat. That was the only other uh, you know public uh, speaking streaming thing I've done on this matter. And I was reluctant to tell some inconvenient truths about Milo Yiannopoulos um, because every time I try to uh, you know say <laughs> the way I really feel about the situation, um, he's spamming me with messages saying you're, you're going to make the others uh, uncomfortable smiley share the their fan. stories with me. More like, like that, smelly you know? the feet. Get raved figuratively, literally. That's not very nice. Um, I'm actually trying to fix my camera, but I'm not going to be able to fix it because you know why? Because I was trying so soon to get on the air. I could have fixed it beforehand. Um, oh, let me stop. Let me stop this. But um, and oh, one one more quick thing, by the um, way. Uh, oh, let me stop. Okay, this. Hold on. Where is this? Okay, sorry. Um, no, you're all good. No, I have a, one quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just sorry. One, one quick thing yeah. before I forget. Yeah. I just, I just wanted to say another big reason. Um, even after uh, retracting my, uh, you know, acceptance of uh, of the interview that I'm here is because I want to show everyone that it's not like Milo's controlling what I do because Milo absolutely did not want me coming on here, and uh, you know, basically well, that all was the another reason the didn't want me coming here. But if I'm still you didn't, here. yeah, if you didn't show up here, I was considering you a tool of Milo. To be honest with you. Right, and that's why I'm here to prove to yeah. people that that's not the case. No matter what you think about what I did in my private life or whatever, um, or didn't do, um, but yeah, like it's really like not my business. Yeah, honestly. and it's that not. Was a low blow. Yeah, it was. It was. It was a low blow, but you know what? I took a couple shots too, so I don't. I don't take this shit too. You know, this shit too seriously. Um, and let you know, it can rise to that serious level, but like. Um, you're as far as I can tell, you're a good guy, uh, and I don't think there's any reason to to um, to feel any other way. Also, did it really f? It didn't f. You lying motherfuckers. Um, <laughs> um, I can fix the camera. I'm gonna try to fix the camera. Uh, but I can't fix it while OBS is on, so I'll have to stop streaming. So I'm sorry that you couldn't, like, see me. Hold on, let me see. Him. Well, I've seen you before, Ralph. I think uh, I think we've probably seen enough to, uh, to know what you look That's like. That's true. So You've seen enough, weird. Ralph. <laughs> You've seen enough, Ralph. You've seen enough Milo, bro, too. You know, you know I, I think, what do you think about continuing a relationship? Uh, not sexual or anything but like just a <laughs> thank uh, you for clarifying that because people yes. have been taking the jokes way too far with that stuff yeah <laughs> and i did that too but what do you think about continuing a relationship with milo well i think milo has his own issues that he needs to work through um his obsession with uh with nick and uh you know the a logging stuff and uh, also just issues that are uh, stemming from his childhood with, uh, you know, abuse and stuff like that, which I think warps someone's mind. And he admitted as much to me that, uh, I think, you know what I think, doing that his whole life. and I'm going to interrupt you oh. coldly and then let you say whatever you want. I think Milo made up, uh, I don't think he was ever molested. I think that he made up that story about the priest on Joe Rogan. Uh, and I think he did that, um, just to get clout. Well, that would be a really messed up thing to do. I really hope you're wrong about that. And uh, Me too. If that's the case. <laughs> I don't see how anyone could ever trust him. But well, here's the thing. I mean, I'm open to I'm open to continuing a relationship with with Milo. Uh, you know, uh, not. Uh, that doesn't sound right good at this moment. Obviously, you know, but like maybe way way in the future when this whole thing is blown over, and uh, maybe when he's on better terms with America first, and he's not you know trying to attack the movement overtly. Now, I'm going to um, be right honest now, with you. Smiley, that doesn't sound good. I mean, um, why would you say that? Well, I want to be very clear with people. I'm talking about way in the future because I believe that Sure. Now, look. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I'm not trying to badger you. I'm just saying, why would you... Uh, not? And I'm not talking about, like, any type of... Um, you know, romantic or anything like that. I'm just saying, why would you even want to 
a, you know, talk to this guy. Like, he's a fucking snake. He fucking started all this shit. He's a piece of shit. He should be exiled from America first. He is exiled well, from America first. Okay, maybe, maybe you're right. I appreciate you, uh, you know, uh, making me clarify that. Uh, Milo has had a very bad <laughs> negative impact on my life. Um, I definitely like supporting him. I think was definitely a, uh, a mistake for sure. Yes. And, uh, in retrospect, no, nothing, nothing good has came. No of shit. With Milo Yiannopoulos. No, it, it hasn't. Quite, it's been quite the opposite actually. The, it's the made time. me <laughs> mad. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, I know Milo wrote that tweet. I know he wrote that tweet. <laughs> Tell me he didn't okay. write that tweet. He didn't write the tweet. I think I just, but he, he consulted with you on it. He consulted with you on his tone. It was definitely his tone. Okay. It, oh, it was his tone. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. We're, we're, we're getting off track here, but, um, Milo DDoS but you know what? You're, you're right. There's Milo really no DDoS cozy. Either. Yeah. Cause so cozy's down. They're having to watch on rumble Milo DDoS cozy because like we're telling too much. Um, about what he did, I wouldn't put that past him at all. Um, well, you know what? On second thought, um, I, I mean, I, I'm I just saying, man, right if now. you want to stay in these circles, which I wouldn't advise, I'd leave and just go do my life. Um, I, but you know, this is what I do for a living. Uh, so as I, 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 I don't have a choice. Right now, I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. Uh, so, uh, it's it, it's this or nothing, or I just go hungry and die. Um, so I don't have a choice, but um, I don't know what you do on the side or, or or what what have you. But I would I would look into. I don't know. I'm just saying. I, I I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm saying that because Milo's a snake and. You could do. You could probably make more money doing something else. Okay, Ralph, I gotta reiterate this point here. Um, I was talking about like a hypothetical way in the future. Of sure. Maybe, you know, if Milo changes, then reaching out to him. Sure. Again. Yeah, right now, that's I fine. Don't want a relationship with Milo Yiannopoulos. Okay, that's like fine. He's handled this whole situation. I'm and, glad you uh, said that. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm glad you reiterated, and I wasn't trying to uh, slander you or anything like that. Anonymous sent three dollars. Uh, Smiley only defending AF because he thought his testimony was going to be anonymous. Would he have defended Nick if he was still anonymous? Snake. Now that's a question from the super chat. Uh, would you? Okay, that's that's a good question. That was something I was going to get into already. Um, you thought you were going to be anonymous. Now why weren't you? Right. I made it very clear to Milo. Why weren't you anonymous? I did not want the audio from the uh, Radix podcast to be um, associated with uh, the screenshots and uh, everything else that Milo had typed up with this. I, I figured there would be no more harm in um, you know, having the podcast out there because that was already public. But um, the reason that I wanted to be anonymous is because I didn't want this to be associated with America first because people associate me with America first and they would Dude, associate it was a Milo hit job on America, America first. first. Like, I don't know what to say. It was clear. He was trying to tie this into Nick the whole time. Like, I, I don't know. That's my read on it. You can, I, I'll give you your take. I don't want to, I don't want to, um, like be unfair and, and say anything. You know what I mean? Like, and not give you your well, side. It's just, um, it's so unfair that uh, someone who wasn't even really like a Groiper or America first, uh, is being associated, uh, with the whole movement and with Nick, you know, because Nick admitted, uh, that he, uh, or he proved that he kept Ali at an, an arm's length distance, uh, from America first, just based on what he knew about the guy. And, uh, Milo has, half pack, this which is worth a lot. Well, first off, I was at a pack one and three, not number two, because my mother died, uh, shortly thereafter and I was in the hospital there. Um, uh, unfortunately. Um, um, but you so know, even you, you know, you, you, you do what you can. Why would a character like Milo Yiannopoulos be hanging around as scummy and as absolutely satanic as he is? Uh, if you weren't doing what you were trying to do to get on the national stage. So say what you want about Ali Alexander. Of course, I don't co-sign any of that. 
Um, but Milo Yiannopoulos is just as scuzzy. He got his dick sucked by his priest. He praised getting his dick sucked by his priest. He actually said that gay men re excuse me, procreate through other gay men, and he co-signed that as a good thing. Milo Yiannopoulos is a sick fuck. You know what? I, I don't endorse any of the stuff you're referring to, and uh, now you know everything. Well, like okay, it. now wait, did into it. No, um, okay, now did he say it? No, wait, messed up. You're right. Did he that's, say that's all that? Tell me he didn't what say that. that. Tell me he didn't say that. He's, everyone knows the infamous clip about everyone the, uh, knows he said that. Back yes. in the day, Every, yeah, everyone, yeah, yeah. everyone knows it, he said that. You're right. I mean, if if you if you want to press him on that, I mean, feel free. He's on Telegram all the time. He, he won't come, come on here. He won't let me press him on that. Are you kidding me? Like, what the oh fuck? no, I'm talking about every everyone watching right now. Wanna, Obviously, not you. I don't want to press but, him on shit. I want to. I want to yeah. see him fucking destroyed. That's what I want to see. Milo Yiannopoulos, um, he's a snake. He's never been loyal to anybody in his life. If you think he's loyal to you now, you're wrong. Uh, there's a couple. There's a couple and, things that I do. I have to get out there about Nick, though. Um, Nick has been uh, very, you know, understanding and uh, sympathetic and willing to hear me out uh, throughout this whole thing. Because I mean, a, a lot of the criticism that's uh, stemming from uh, people about Nick in America First is that um, they don't they don't like the way. Uh, he's addressed it or has, uh, I guess, uh, spoken on, on the matter about me. But the thing is, I mean, he, he like I said, he's addressed People it out Nick in the America. best that he could in his, his, in first his position. Is that, that um, they, don't, they don't like the way very unfair uh, he's addressed it or has, uh, I guess, uh, spoken on on the matter about me, but I'm getting some terrible echo right now. I don't know if the I mean, yes, he, he's, that like that I said, he's like I said, he's addressed it out Nick in America that he could in his. Okay, it should be it should be fixed now. I don't know um, where the sound is actually coming through, um, so that's why I, um, I was trying to test the echo. Um, but what Nick, what Nick stressed to me is that if he had had all the facts and had the full picture, things would have been very different. But you can't blame him for something he didn't know, and well, sure. everything was a completely unsubstantiated up until a week ago. So there was no way Nick could act on facts that he didn't have. And the only person who had those facts was Milo. And by Milo's own admission, he never told Nick, despite being an advisor and despite it being his responsibility to tell Nick about that kind of stuff. Um, so there's just no way that Nick can be faulted for this. And frankly, like I said, it has nothing to do with him. Uh, it was stuff that happened outside of America first with people who weren't even really involved in America first. And uh, he's taken it upon himself to correct the problem and to address the problem, despite the fact that it's not even his problem. Um, he's forced uh, Ali out of public life and completely disavowed his actions. And uh, that's really all you can ask. And I mean, like I said, everything that needs to be said has already been said. So th there's nothing else that really needs no, to be done on the matter. Forced Ali out concerned. of public life. <laughs> that is Milo that is trying to do that. That doesn't have anything to do with with Nate Fuentes, in my opinion, uh, of course. Um, I feel like Milo is the one that's tried to force him out of public life, and I feel like it's just uh, because he's got as much better as the sent other. three dollars smiley. Why take a shot at Ralph and turn around and come on the show? Well, that's a good question, too. Um, I mean, you can answer that if you want. Um yeah, I feel like I already did answer that. But basically, when I made that tweet, uh, like I said, it was a low blow, and I was upset about some of the things that Ralph was saying about me. I think, understandably. Yeah, you know what? Uh, That's but fair. I apologize yeah, I'll, for that. I'll accept that. I'll accept that because basically, when I, I had said some things, I had said some. I thought a couple barbs, um, so I can take it. Um, but the main reason I'm here is to show people that uh, I would rather come on someone who's. Uh, America first. I would rather come on to like a cozy streamer show than uh, I was going to. And go I appreciate on, like, that Milo show. swore that you would not come on an America first show. That's what he said. Right. I'm showing people that I'm not being controlled by anyone. That I'm I'm doing this all on my own accord. You know, um, because people are trying to make it sound like uh, I'm being controlled by these bad faith actors, which just isn't the case. All right. Well, I mean. Yeah, what do you think uh, has been missed from the entire thing? Also, I'm, my camera, I can't get it on without, like, totally deactivating 
OBS. So I'm sorry that I can't get my camera on. So it's just a it's black, okay. It's just a black well, square. While, you, while you're working on that, um, let me restate uh, the the public life thing. Okay. Yeah. Maybe just go ahead and say what you want to say. Out. That's why I wanted to say that because I'm not gonna probably be able to get my camera on. So, um, okay. Uh, That's so fine. say but, what you want to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Let me let, let me restate uh, what I said about uh, Nick's response. I mean, Nick. Uh, okay, maybe he didn't force the guy out of public life. Maybe that's a bad way to say it. But Nick or uh, or all he did, well, um, he, he, he's basically he quit. Like, yeah, you're right. He, he, he's basically yeah. uh, all he's basically removed himself from public life, and Nick has said that's the right thing to do. And uh, Nick has condemned the guy. They were going to exile and, in ancient Rome, basically. Uh, right, basically. Yes, yes, and right. I mean, I just I don't know what more people want from Nick. I mean, he's. He's addressed the situation the appropriate way, even though uh, it, <laughs> these problems aren't even his problems. Uh, he's taking it upon himself. And by the to way, I like somebody in chat said right. Nick said to, he told him to leave public life. Uh, well, I mean that's you know how they how they used to talk about things. You know, like I said, you know, not just Rome, but even you know, 40, 50 years ago. Motherfuckers just left public life because they were disgraced, um, or they had a they right like it's just like all right, well, see you later. And it's not even that you have to be mean about it or like uh, you never speak to the motherfucker again. But like he doesn't, he's not on the public sp stage anymore. Uh, exactly. Yeah, that, that's yeah. a better way to say it. That's yeah. basically what I was trying to get across. And uh, Nick has said that was the right thing to do. So, uh, I mean, the, the problem has been addressed. It's no longer a problem. I mean, everything that needs to be out there is already out there and people can do what they want with the information that they've seen. So, uh, the, the fact that people are still talking about it and dragging it out is, uh, really just to, uh, keep America first entangled in, uh, the scandal for as long as they can and to keep Nick from doing what he set out to do, now, which is put America first and save the white race. Now, let me ask <laughs> so just you. Let, let, I think the people should let Nick get back to what he needs to do you know, and uh, let him get back to saving the white race and putting America first. <laughs> you know what I'm going to ask you uh, next? I, I mean, I would think a smart individual like you, uh, are you homosexual? I knew people were going to make all kinds of ridiculous jokes about that and be like, oh, man, Smiley's really sus after, you know, this uh, this whole thing. But uh, it's like who hasn't? Um, made mistakes, you know, we all fall short of the glory of God and feel free to mock me for those mistakes. You know, I'd prefer if you didn't, I mean, if your dirty laundry was being aired out in front of the entire world, it has I wouldn't been. harass and mock you over it. You know what? But, and you um, know what? I, I can't, I can't remember like you mocking my dirty laundry. If I did, I would go harder on you. Uh, right. but, but, but I, I don't remember, yet. I, you know, took a little shot at you today, but like, yeah, well, I didn't, didn't I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't appreciate that because it's just not true. I'm not a sex offender. I'm not a re on the registry. It's an actual crime of image. Like it's literally like illegal sharing of imagery. Now people do call it revenge porn. Uh, but you know, people call I a heard lot it of things. was a technicality. Yeah. Well, it's, I'm not on a registry. I'm not a sex offender. Um, and so, um, basically what they did was they looked it up and they went deep into the code to where it's classified, um, allegedly, uh, as a sex offender offense. Um, but it's not like, you know, when you hear sex offender, you think raping kids or something like that. Right. I, I, I played people to misconstrue. I played, I played like no that. contest. I played no contest to filming a woman and releasing her video. That's what I played no contest to. So um, I still yeah. feel like that that's a uh, a Jewish bullshit law. <laughs> If you want to know the truth, uh, Giga Ninja sent three dollars. Smiley, have you seen the clown that hides from gay people? What? I don't know, but I still see that as a bullshit law, um, and I really don't think I should have done any time over that. I did eight months in jail over that, um, and that was the minimum, the mandatory minimum. Um, was okay, uh, well, oh wait wait not not for that excuse me wait 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 excuse me not for that to that um not for that excuse me that was for hitting the cop that was for hitting the cop and I missed.
That's the thing. I missed. I swung and missed. Yeah. Anonymous sent five dollars. Milo has a small army of ex QAnon wine moms that run gay ops for him on Twitter and Telegram. Beware the fag hag QAnon wine mom. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, that wasn't even for that. I only did no contest. Wow, they really don't care about women. Everybody hates women. Let's just be honest. Uh, because I mean, you would think that might have some more time. I did I did eight months on a plea where I didn't even hit the officer. Anonymous sent five dollars. Why does Smiley support PPP? PPP sent a supportive message to me on Twitter when the story first broke, and that's it. I don't talk to PPP. PPP and I don't have uh, any sort of uh, friendship or relationship or anything like that. I mean, he just he sent me like one supportive message, and that was it. So uh, there's there's really nothing going on there, and uh, that's what I was trying to get across in uh, the weekly sweat interview like a few days ago. But it doesn't go beyond that. Would you fuck PPP? <laughs> no, because I'm not a homo. And uh, all right, also, now okay, finish the story on that. Fin that. Finish the story on that then, because like, what was going on with you sending dick pics to Ali? I mean, like, I mean, I I don't send dick pics to Ali. Uh, like, like, wh what was it? You just trying to like get ahead, or like, uh, so to speak, um, or what? What was it like? Um, you know, I mean, let's be honest. This is the part that I, uh, I think I've pretty much said everything I need to about. And I, again, I don't want this to be an interview about the past. I'm mostly just here to clarify my position on America first and the present. Well, no, the wait, no, wait, no, wait. You on. don't get to what? dodge that question. Wait, no, wait. No, you don't get to dodge that question. My, my, my question of you is, uh, did, you, did you constantly know what you were doing? Do you feel taken advantage of, uh, or did you do that on purpose to try to get ahead in the world of politics? And um, you're not, you're not going to get to dodge the question. Well, I'll just reiterate exactly what I said on uh, my statement on Twitter. That's, um, I felt like I had no choice and I was humiliated and I hated it at the time. And, uh, I do feel now, completely wait. taken to me, so, but, uh, no, um, wait, 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 hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. I'm not trying to railroad you. I actually want to understand. This is an actual fucked up thing, uh, that happened. Um, you know, you felt humiliated. You felt taken advantage of, um, you just felt like. That it like it like had to be done almost like it was expected of you. Um, to I, get yeah, ahead. I didn't think there was a way out of it, and after it had started, I didn't think there you know I, like there was anything else that I could do because I was worried about like the blackmail aspect, you know. Because, well, uh, yeah, I, exactly I saw somebody else, and it wasn't you, but it was somebody else talking about your case, and they're like, "Well, now this guy's got to worry about blackmail," and I'm like, "Fuck, I didn't even think, <laughs> I I wasn't even thinking about that." Uh, so, right. I was worried about yeah, exactly what's yeah. happening right now with this being paraded in front of the entire world. And, uh, that's why I, yeah, uh, honestly, like, oh, I'll yeah. be honest. I didn't even think I, I was like, Oh shit. He's got, he does. He does have to think about the blackmail. Um, but I, I, I want to give you a chance here to say anything that, um, that I didn't let you say. Of course, this is a, this is a Imus. This is a Stern. This is a, a classic type show. We 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 do get. Um, I guess you could say a little um, purient, uh, a little uh, <laughs> a little uh, um, outside the box with the sexual innuendo and stuff like that. But that's just how I do it on my show. And I appreciate you for coming on my show, knowing that. Uh, by the way, uh, and you know that I'm going to ask those type of questions and stuff like that. Um, but what do you feel, first off, that I didn't cover, criticize me, and then second off, what do you feel is being missed just in general? 
Well, the big thing I think that's being missed is the fact that people are chalking this all up to online correspondence, which in my case it was. But the thing is, that likely wasn't the case for other people. And uh, the whole aim of this person when talking to me was to lure me to meet in person uh, to escalate the situation. So that's something people need to keep in mind. And that's the reason that I felt like it was so important to warn other people um, what was going on to avoid being in that position. And you may hear from other people who uh, were in that position. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm not involved. No, I'm in, understanding uh, um, that I'm going to hear from them because my basically Milo came out this morning and basically I'm, I'm going to just tell a story because I woke up this morning understanding that we had, we had an interview, right? And, um, and then I wake up and Milo saying the interview's off and, you know, he's running the Ali Falls account and he actually tweeted he actually telegrammed from the Ali Falls account before he telegrammed from his own account and then forwarded it. So it was actually making you look bad, um, to be honest with you, um, because it was making it look like Milo was running this op. Uh, now, is it an op? First thing, I'm just asking you directly. Uh, this did happen. Did this happen? I am not involved in any way, shape, or form. No, with no, no, the no. I mean, files or other things. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Did the did you did the did you send pictures to Ali? Did that happen? Did did you have a relationship with Ali? Uh, what do you mean by the <laughs> online correspondence is the best right, way right, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not saying you fucked him. Uh, I'm saying, you, but, but, this, you, but you had a, you I, had a. I really don't like the words that you're using. It sounds, uh, it sounds really gay. Well, the reason, well, because it is gay. If you send somebody your dick, that's gay. I don't know what to say. Like, um, so like, I'm not trying to say you got fucked by Ollie, but if you send somebody a picture of your dick, that's gay. And I'm not trying to insult you, by the way. If I sent you a picture of my dick, that would be gay. Do you not think so? If you disagree, I'm willing to have a debate on this. You know, maybe we're just comparing sizes. Okay. Uh, you know, I got an eight and a half inch dick. You know, I, I'm i fully, I'm fully ready to compare. If that if that's what you want to do, but um, but what okay, I'm so but what I'm saying I is these, I think these questions are uh, probably inappropriate and uh, probably um, just uh, not necessary. But wait, and, uh, I think everyone understands in essence. Um, what no, happened I don't. I, I really have gotten into it as much as I wanted to. I made it clear that I don't want an interview about what happened in the past. The only reason I'm here is well, to you, clarify the position. Well, on you America sent Ali Alexander drama. pictures of your dick. It's like similar to uh, stuff that's like on the Hunter Biden laptop. Uh, right. I don't even this, care, but. dude. I'm not trying to roast you. Like, I'm really not. Like, I know you think I am, but I'm really, I'm literally not. I'm actually was trying to roast Ali. Um, but I'm, I'm just saying like, that's, that's what went okay. down. What I'll say is it's as humiliating now as when it happened. All right. And, so, and, I, and you know I, I what? Don't know, I don't know what else you want me to say about it. It's in the past. This was like a very long time ago. And, uh, you know, obviously a lot has changed uh, since then. And everything's out Ali there. Alexander so sent $3. Ralph, want. can I see? Now, and I can understand. You know what? That's, you know what? I could hear the truth in his voice when he said that, to be honest with you. He said it's as humiliating 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 easy for me to say um as it was back then as it is now um i do feel uh you know whether they did, whether they did it on purpose or not this tranny euthanizer sent three dollars bring yoba in here is we yoba want to in hear here? what he thinks about all this he is watching right now i didn't even think yoba yoba can't talk on stream i don't think uh so that's the thing but um, I think that, um, look, everyone here has made mistakes and, uh, we all fall well, short well, of God's glory at times. And, uh, I just want you to keep that in mind and feel free to judge me. Uh, well, my God, please, I have everything. too. I mean, you don't, you're who you're talking to. Like, I mean, of course, 
but I, I'm trying yeah. to do the right thing now. I'm trying to do the right yeah. thing by God. I'm trying to do the right thing by Nick, who is a good friend of mine, and I stand by him 100%. And I'm trying to uh, you know, help America First navigate through this disaster and all these unfair attacks against him and the movement. And, uh, and all these you know what? I respect you a lot. I want to say that, too. And um, I respect you a lot because you could have just rolled – with the a log train and just went out there and spout out a bunch of bullshit. And that's not what you did at all. Uh, you came out it here. It would have been way easier to do that. It would have been way easier not to You would have made money, dude. You offended. would have a thousand dollars in your pocket right now. If you did that. No doubt. No doubt. Believe me. So I'm not, I'm not doing anything I'm doing for personal gain. In fact, uh, it's been quite the opposite. I, I've actually, um, you know, it, there's been a significant um, social cost and a, a large headache, uh, probably not nearly as much as Nick has had to go through because of, you know, his entire movement getting attacked over this, which I did not obviously intend at all. Um, but I mean, it's uh, people, I just don't understand how they think uh, I'm trying to gain something from this when it's literally been the exact opposite. Well, I'm, I'm I mean, you know, right. I did wake up this morning with the, t with the attack, uh, you know, I was, I was a little, I, I was a little flummoxed by that because I thought we had the interview and then I was like, wait, hold on. This guy's, and it's not well, even, I, I, I don't know what you were told. What I said. Were you contacted by Matthew Vickers? Hold on a sec. I don't know who that is. Anonymous sent $3 know. smiley. Do you disavow Jaden McNeil, Teddy Fisa, and Victor Sharp, a.k.a. the Gay Patriot? I disavow them, and I disavow anyone else who is attacking America First over this. It's all bad faith attacks, and uh, it really has nothing to do with Were you America sent First. emails like about like the from a, from a Vickers in California or anything like that? or? No, I have no idea okay. who that is. All right, I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering because that's the type of shit they do. So, um, but, uh, I really appreciate, you know what? I appreciate your tenacity, um, and your, um, just, you know, courage and coming on the show because I could have really, you know, done a number on you, uh, and, and try to make you look bad. I wasn't trying to do that. Um, I was just trying to, trying to hear the story. You know what I mean? Um, and well, well, you uh, did. On well, Telegram, I did. On, I, I did. On, well, I did that because I wanted to make you come on. <laughs> I did that on Twitter because I wanted to make you come on. I was like, oh, he's just a sicko. He's being used for Milo's attack dog. He's he's being he's being. And by the way, it did seem like you were being used as Milo's attack dog, by the way. Um, so. I was I was going all out on Telegram and Twitter. You're right. Maybe I didn't say this before, but um, people are always asking me, why did you go to Milo when really that's the opposite of what happened? Milo came to me. Milo already knew what happened when he came to me um, because – a good friend of mine uh, and another cozy streamer. I don't want to. I don't want to name who it, who it is. You know who it is. If you saw the weekly sweat, I just don't want to cause him any trouble. But sure. um, he went to Milo after I. Well, there's told only two Milo people on the weekly what sweat. Happened. What was that? There's only two people on the weekly sweat. But but go ahead. I know the person. Go ahead. No no. It was it was like someone who called in. It's not. Uh, yeah, it wasn't like Beardson. Um, but. Uh, but yeah, okay. That's, that's not really my point. My point is that Milo already knew because a friend of mine already told him what happened. And Milo was basically just reaching out to get the rest of the details and to confirm the story and everything. And when he, when he reached out to me, when Milo started talking to me, he was in good standing, um, with America first and, um, where my lapse in judgment was, is, uh, providing him the evidence, um, after the falling out with him and America first had already happened. I shouldn't have done that. And, um, I regret doing that. I just, I couldn't have foreseen, uh, what an absolute, uh, it's fine, man. It's cause. a complete show. It's just, it's just another show for me though. So, uh, I hope you don't get too worked up about it. Um, because I'm not going to. So, um, right. yeah. <laughs> now I was worked up when you canceled. Now I, when you canceled on me, I was a little worked up because I was like, okay, I'm about to go in on this. On this, I don't know you that well, really, uh, at all. I think this is the most we've talked ever. I don't yeah, think we really exactly. Talked before, we we talk. I think we saw each other at a rally or something. But like, maybe, maybe. Um, maybe. Yeah, it was Harrisburg, and I was like, I'm about to go in on this smiley nigga, like because um, I didn't, 
I didn't say anything about you, and you're calling me a sex offender? Like, fuck you, bitch. Yeah, I'm not a sex offender. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I'm sorry about that. But um, I appreciate that. I, I accept it. Hey, look, I accept the apology. Don't worry about it. But uh, that's not the case at all. Um, right. I deleted the tweet, by the way. Um, now, it is a but, little bit of a weird situation uh, with sex, you know, revenge porn, sex offender, all that. Exactly. I'm not, and that's why I'm I, not that's on. Why I was so come here and there was a point to my tweet and I, I do stand by the part of my tweet about uh not wanting to really get into an interview about like what happened way back when again i'm, I'm sure more here about what's going on now well look what i'm saying is um yeah it's 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 a, it's a little bit um of, of of a weird situation but it's not uh it was everything that ever happened uh, was consensual. That was like they tried to make it out like I raped a kid or some shit. That's yeah, why they keep. You know what? That's I, why I, they keep honest, saying I'm really, that. I'm really not that interested, and uh, I'm, I'm not going to attack you over that any more than I already did with that tweet. So you don't have to get into that and defend yourself. I think I think your audience probably already knows that stuff. Well, they already know that, but like it does bother me because it's like, okay, I fucked an 18 year old. Footage got out there. Things happen. Like whatever. Um. And she was 19 by the time I had it. Uh, but anyway. Um, My big concern still is um, doing anything that would make uh, anyone who hasn't, uh, you know, came, who hasn't gone public with what happened to them. I don't want to, I don't want to discourage them from doing so. I don't want to uh, make them well, feel like it's safe to well, do so. Well, that's true. And, and look, I, I have nothing to do with that. If people want to come toward me. And uh, talk to me. I feel like me and you've had a pretty fair conversation here. I'm not fucking with you. Well, uh, or well, others, people, or others. I'm not. I'm not gonna say. Yeah. Maybe people won't like me saying this, but I would rather them share it through uh, Milo than sharing it through no one. Than no one finding out what happened, especially if there's people who had it worse. You know, especially if there's people who uh, you know were taken advantage of in person. I mean, that's that's significantly worse. Um, so I don't I, trust I, anything I, I, coming from Milo Yiannopoulos. What was that? I don't trust anything coming from Milo Yiannopoulos. Yeah, um, honestly, at this point, uh, I've already said he, he. There's no point in reasoning with him over this stuff. He just he has uh, his interests are just completely disaligned with mine. I don't. Uh, if he was interested, and in, you know, people who were affected or uh, justice or whatever. Like I said in my tweet, I think it's been obscured by um, his personal vendetta against Nick. Yeah, why first. not tell it with Nick? Yeah, exactly. That's what Pansy said. Yeah, I w I'd rather hear it with Nick Fuentes and hear hear the story with him and hear hear the torture with him. Yeah, that that's well, what... No, that's, uh, a, that's a great point. So if there are still people out there, don't feel like you have to go through Milo or you have to... You don't have any personal obligation to... Uh, it doesn't have to be with me either. Everybody knows who yeah. I am. Like I run a fucking a raunchy show. Like that's what I've always done. I like that's fun for me. Like that's what I do. Uh, but we do serious shows too. Uh, I feel like this is one of the more serious shows. Um, uh, now, you know, I'm still joking around. Um, and I think maybe some people, I know some people were, were in your ear telling you not to go on here. Uh, but I feel like I treated you fairly. I don't, I don't think I did anything bad to you. Um, I don't yeah, know. I mean, I, the reason that I was concerned, I, I thought you were going to be uh, pretty hostile and uh, bad faith. And there were even people in America first telling me that it really wasn't, uh, Milo, um, he, he wasn't really the well, reason um, that well, I. Well, you know what? Declined. If they said that, I wish they would say that to my fucking face, because that's like, and I don't care, rank, file, number. I wish they would say that to my fucking face. Who? No, don't say who, because he can keep that to himself. That's a secret. No, he's got a right to his have his own private sources. Uh, but if they did say that, I don't even know that that happened. First off, we don't know that that happened. Second off, because we don't have to believe you. Uh, but second off, uh, if that did happen, I'd like to hear it. I'd like to hear it. And I ain't going to make him. I ain't going to grill him. I ain't going to try to fucking 
fuck with them. But I'd like to hear it because I plan on giving you a fair interview the whole fucking night. So, um, that was well. Again, I mean, I'm happy to talk with you, and like you've answered, you've asked some questions, and I've answered those questions. But uh, I mean, like I said in my tweet, I, I don't, I really still don't think it's appropriate to do an interview um, into, especially the stuff that happened. Like I said way back when, I'm. Uh, I'm I'm more just here to show that like hey no one's controlling me I now can wait, go on Ralph now wait, hold I on I will say this the the stuff that hap- that happened way back when is the only reason anybody cares about this Well right it all stems from that but basically I've said everything I need to about that I mean there's really nothing left to elaborate on as far as that goes Well um, I mean I I can understand that as you know if you want to claim you know um, as far as my personal status or whatever, uh, but, like but did you, and like going to Milo I mean, and stuff, like those questions are fair game, you know? Yeah, but I mean, did you? I mean, you're making me ask the question, basically. I, I don't know why you said that, even because we were almost done with the show. What do you, I mean, did you have a relationship with Ali Alexander for years or, or, or was, is that not the case? I did make a tweet specifically about this and addressing this because this is something that Nick um, alluded to on his telegram about uh, like Lance uh, staying in contact in, uh, in particular um, after the fact. And uh, what I want to say is that the contact was very sparse after um, 2017 um, and like early into, um, I, I don't remember exactly when, uh, in 2018, well, but, sure. but basically, um, like we're talking, uh, a brief message every couple months, maybe, or like swiping up on a story, uh, you know, every, every couple months or something. And the, the reason swiping up. that what, what was that? Swiping up on a story and like, yeah, they, the, well, the they don't. I, I'm trying to explain to the audience who might not understand what does swiping up mean. Oh, okay, yeah, we're talking about Snapchat here, but yeah, yeah, anyways, okay, okay, um, okay. The, the reason there was still an occasional message exchanged, uh, from time to time with, with long uh, gaps in between is because, um, as I said before, uh, the big concern was just about the blackmail aspect and, uh, you know, exactly what's happening now with people, uh, pressing me over this whole thing and it becoming a a huge uh, drama spectacle. Um, and uh, I, I figured there was a higher likelihood that would be the case if I didn't stay on good terms to an extent. Is what yeah, I'm saying I appreciate, opinion, yes, you know? everything you said makes sense. And everything you said made sense uh, by coming on the show because you were going to make an enemy out of me if you cancel on the interview because I was, like, about to go in. Like, well, I, mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't want, what do they call it, like, the whatever? Uh-huh. What what do they call the the Ethan Ralph curse? I yeah, don't, I don't yeah, know yeah, yeah. I was literally about to start. Fuck, I I, I won't say that out loud because they'll clip me. Uh, but uh, forget uh, Ali. I I don't care if you cancel on the interview. I was about to. Uh, <laughs> I, I was about to <laughs> go in on you, not Ali. I don't give a fuck. Uh, but I, I appreciate you coming on. I feel like you're you were very honest, uh, seemingly honest, seemingly honest. Uh, of course, who who knows? I wasn't there. Um, you know, I'll, I'll give that, um, that caveat and, uh, and, and all that. Um, but, um, I think you were, you were a pretty funny guest as well. Uh, so maybe you could come back on. Anonymous sent $3 who was bottom. No, Top, no. Swallow? Spit? Fuck this gay shit all a bunch of fags. We can't do that. I don't want to know that. What the fuck? <sighs> All right, so I feel like um, you you withstood, and you know what type of show it is, like you said. Obviously, you just heard that super chat. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, obviously, like, that's just the trolling super chat and, uh, you know, clearly unserious. And I, I'm just wait, wait, wait. Brush Anonymous wait. sent $3. How does Smiley feel about Ralph defending Ali because Ali got him his Twitter back? I wouldn't say defending necessarily. Go ahead. Uh, well, I figured there would be some degree of bias there, considering that is how you got your Twitter back. And again, that was another <laughs> reason I was uh, reluctant about showing up here. Okay, so you know what? Um, 
uh, I guess that is fair that I have done a little. I wouldn't have. I would have went a lot harder on him if he hadn't got my Twitter back. Um, but not as hard as you probably went on him. So you know, I mean, uh, I, um, I, I definitely would have would have approached it probably a little bit differently. Um, but uh, you know, he did me. He did me. A, he did me a good deed, and uh, I don't feel the need to pile on. Why? I mean, everybody's piling on. Like, I mean, I don't know. It's gonna be hard to. It's gonna be hard to. <laughs> Man, I could. Well, just, I literally every- feel like Rodney Dangerfield right now. Like, I could just like. It's gonna be hard to come back. It's gonna be hard to come back. It's gonna be hard to come. It, it, it's it's gonna be hard to come back. But I. I respect him. He did me a favor when he didn't have to. He did me a favor twice when he didn't have to. Anonymous sent $3, Ralph. You said more bad stuff about yeah. Smiley for canceling the interview than you have about Ali still. That's true. Yeah, and I'm and that's still something stand I really about that. agree with, and I think you really should evaluate yourself over that, but I'm really not here to get into you about that. Well, no, wait, no, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Repeat that. I think maybe you should uh, consider what that super chatter said and uh, maybe, um, you know, use that to inform statements you make moving forward. But uh, I, like I said, I don't want to get into you about that. No, but really what was the statement? Hold on. I didn't, I didn't well, hear, I didn't hear the statement. Let me read that. I, I, I didn't hear it. Oh, the super chat. Yeah, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear oh, it. Gotcha. He said, Ralph, you said more bad stuff about Smiley for canceling the interview than you have about Ali still. And that's true. Right. That's something I would think about. But like I said, I. I but really, I mean, not, yeah, but, 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 uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll let you think about a couple things. All right, sure. That's um, I'll, I'll I'll let you think about being a teenage thought and send his cock to a political consultant uh, to try to get on in some way and try to, you know, um, get get on the team uh, or whatever. That's something you did. I didn't do that. I certainly didn't do that. Um, and Ali did get me my Twitter back. So. Uh, you know, I don't co-sign what he did. I think it's disgusting. Um, but you know what? Uh, I know who helped me out a lot, <laughs> a lot more recently, and it was Ali Alexander. And I'm just being, that's just a real nigga response right there. And somebody said in the chat, that's a real nigga response. So, okay. All right. You know, uh, and I feel like you were enticing them. I actually do feel like that. I feel like you were trying to come on to Ali Alexander. I think you actually let him on. F didn't send $10. These exchanges between you and Ali make it clear that in and around 2017, Ali and Milo were close associates and Milo was seemingly very comfortable with Ali bringing boys around to meet Milo. Is Milo really the best person to be leading this effort? Now, if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. All right, I think I think we're going off on on a tangent here. I, well, I really no, wait, well, well, no, wait, well, no, wait. Tell me, a, okay, if you didn't, if you didn't, you can't. You're 15, Ralph, so you can't you consent to anyway, any right? For Al to get your Twitter back, and he sent three dollars. <laughs> you're 15, so you can't consent anyway. Of course, now that's the law, and we all know that. But I, but but what I'm saying is, if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. Maybe not every 15-year-old is the same, and maybe not all of them were... Uh, well, I agree with that. I agree vulnerable. with that. And Nigga, I was snorting whenever. rails on bitches' titties as long as this fucking table when I was 15 years old. I know not every 15-year-old is the same. I don't give a fuck. And there's nothing you could tell me. I was fucking... I mean, you couldn't... Dude, 15 was... A fucking like Hunter S. Thompson book for me, so you couldn't tell me shit about fifteen years old. So, I you know, I, I'm not I'm not judging. I'm just I'm just I'm just saying, it, you, you know what I mean? Like, was it 
a god anonymous sent three dollars this is your christian movement smiley very sad oh god, god bless oh god, god. For you. you know what it's not Thank it's you. not no, un- you know what it's not unchristian to say these things it's not because it's like okay well i mean all right well, were you let's, were let's you off. wait a minute the, don't cut me off right. don't cut me off were you like and, and do you regret like it, it was like it was like a period in your life that you were you went through and you and you and you think you can get through and and, and change now and and have you already changed this was like six years ago or whatever what the fuck like i mean yeah of course i regret of course uh like probably the lowest point in my life um so i mean i think that honestly goes without saying and uh the fact that people feel the need to ask me that is really just insulting but um oh is it no way how's it insulting i I think i think i've been very clear um that that's the case already but i mean you uh, sent your dick to ali alexander i mean how's that's pretty insulting i i you know i don't I don't know why. Uh, yeah. I don't know why asking you the question is the is the insulting part. But uh, anonymous and three dollars smiley when you well, find this anyway, from leak out. Thanks, smiley. I appreciate it, brother. All right, peace out, man. Yeah, peace out, brother. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.